morning everyone happy monday um if you're new here i usually just make videos about life of a grad student and things related to that so this week since we're finally back to school i wanted to just make a video about the routine of going back to school i'm too shy to like still <laughs> vlog around people so you probably won't see like everything but anyway so today on monday i have a free day which is great so i get to just focus on my own stuff no tutorials or meetings or, or anything so i made like uh, i updated my notion for today i'm going to try to work on my write-up for four hours total and I split that into like four rounds of one hour but I won't do like just four in a row I'll just do one hour and then like take a break for how much I want and then go back and forth like that and I just have two more propositions left to prove for my write-up but <laughs> they're kind of tricky I really want to finish this week but I'm not sure if that'll happen so I'll just try to try and work on it and see what happens and not have too many expectations of it. So this is one of my things I just do throughout the day so I already ran this morning. I like to practice kanji every day and solely just build up my vocabulary and do a little bit of Duolingo, watch a video in French. So I already listened to a podcast while running this morning but I'll still probably watch this watching a show called Avec Moi, which means with me, and it's it's like this girl in Montreal who makes a YouTube channel, so that, that's why it's called With Me, which actually took me like a, a while to catch on to that, and it's really interesting. Sometimes I feel a bit bad for her. It seems like her life is hard, but it's really good for practicing French, especially if you want to learn like Quebecois French. And I have just like practice my violin do all my math and then have a tutorial tomorrow so just have to review what they've been learning and my weekly goals i hope to prove this <laughs> action kills everything some a some action that's dependent on partitions always kills the um, the generating vector for every partition and I just don't know how to organize that so I've been making like lemmas for certain types of partitions but it seems not an efficient way so I was hoping I could just like solve this by myself, but maybe I'll have to admit to my advisors that I'm stuck and I'm doing it in a way that's probably not the best way to do it. But for today, I'll just keep trying this my way and see what happens. I'll, I'll try to explain a bit later like exactly what I mean <laughs> when I'm saying for every partition and stuff like that. But now it's time for a coffee break and maybe just like just chill a little bit and then try the second session before lunchtime so 
I'm back at home and my original plan was to just finish all of my school stuff and then go home and chill but my iPad ran out of charge and I forgot my charger at home so I had to come back to charge it and I just have like one hour left of doing my math and then I can finally just chill for the rest of the night. And I've been liking this going to school during the day and just having nothing to do afterwards because sometimes when you're doing stuff late at night, like if you don't do anything till midday and then work later, it feels like you're always trying to catch up. So this way you do your work and then you can rest without being guilty. And I haven't finished my proof yet, but I think I've gotten like a little bit closer at least. So first tutorial is over now. It went pretty well, but I'm really tired now. It's like 6 p.m. So uh, because I want to just work a little bit longer, I got myself like a nice oat Americano thing from Starbucks as like a treat. And my office has a couch, so I'm just gonna drink the coffee here and like relax for like 10 minutes before continuing to do my work. Thank you. 